each and every one of you. We are here today with you to present the last regional final of Tata Crucible's Campus Quiz 2010. What a journey it's been right across the length and breadth of this country. You've been viewing some amazing battles. The Bangalore battle, the Mumbai battle, the Delhi finish. All of it was absorbing. But I tell you what, there's one city which always stands out in terms of quality of quizzing. That city is Pune. Here today, it's my pleasure and privilege to introduce to you six fantastic finalists from this amazing quizzing city. On my far right, qualifying into our Pune final, please welcome on stage Gaurav and Amnit Singh. They represent SCM HRD. Neighboring them as table number two in our final here today are SIBM Pune, representing them Gautam and Ram Prakash. As table number three here today, as a finalist at Pune, on stage Shubhajit Jas and Shubhajit Chakraborty, Symbiosis Law School. On my near left here today, as our fourth finalist at Pune, representing MIT, are Karan Pandey and Jaipal Singh Dupar. As our fifth finalist, representing SCM HRD, are Mehul Dikshit and Chartak Shankar Bhagat. Completing our lineup here today for the first time in a Pune final, Srimati Kashi Bai Nawale College, representing them, Omkar and Bhushan. Welcome here to the Pune final. At this final leg, Final reminder of our rules, especially for our teams on stage. You get six runs on a direct. On every pass, the value increases by an overthrow of one run. So on a one pass, the value becomes seven. Second pass, eight. On a last pass, the value climbs to 11 runs. The logic of the game, therefore, is at the end of the day, the winner is not necessarily the team that knows more number of answers, but definitely the team that knows the answers to the questions, the other finalists don't. And what's life at a quiz? If you're playing a 2020 game and there is no power play. Well, in a game like this, on the first two overs which will pass, after you've heard the question, you're allowed to press that buzzer and say, I want to play a power play. And you can double the value of your answer if you get it right. However, you lose three runs if you press the buzzer and get it wrong. If a team plays a power play and gets it wrong and then we pass, the value is one incremental on the pace and not one incremental on the power play value. You're allowed to play the power play only on a direct question and not on a pass. You're allowed to play a power play once in this match, which means you technically get two direct questions, one in the first round, one in the second. Either of those can be a power play opportunity for you. If we are ready teams, we unfold the 2020 match of Pune. It's time to toss. Table number one, SCM HRD, Gaurav and Amnit. The first ball to you in this match. This originally started as a radio show on GLR, which is BBC Radio London, in 1995. The objective of this radio program was to give customers an insight into how life of brands affected their existence. Today, various countries have adopted this noble solution. What in this world am I describing? Partly. Power play on the first attempt. Uh, super brands. Super answer. 12 runs on that. Good confidence. SCM HRD, good quizzing team in Pune. Neighboring them to SIBM. Another good quizzing team here. In 1976, Lalit Seth came to Mumbai from Kolkata, placed an advertisement in the Gujarati Mumbai Samachar. And this advertisement said, would you want to travel with me to a place with no attached bathroom? Would you want to travel in overcrowded trains? Would you want it to take five days to reach Kashmir? And so on and so forth. Convenience and comfort were the flagship promise. What got created and has remained their promise. Uh, Pepe jeans. Passing you on Pepe jeans. Pillows in trains. On my left, MIT. Pass. Across to SCMHRD. 
We go for SOTC. Kashi Bhai Nawale. Raj Travels. The value of a pass is important. Put your hands together for them. Kashi Bhai Nawale College will score 7, 8, 9, 10 runs. Symbiosis Law School, your direct question. It was originally manufactured in Acton in West London. The name was coined in 1937 by Colin Kinnanmoth and George Gray. It was originally part of Dickinson Robinson Group, a British packaging giant. It's now owned by Henkel. What in this world am I describing? Symbiosis Law School. One hand on the buzzer. Oh, they're going for a... Power play, yeah. Power play. I'm looking at cello tape. The simple cello tape. Yeah. Super! Put your hands together. I'm looking at cello tape. Question to you guys on my left. On the 14th of December, 2009, they stopped operating this permanently since 1883 June it had been functional except during the world wars Dracula James Bond Hercule Poirot and Lady Chatterley's lover have all been part of this what stopped in 2009 we go for the musical called Cats passing you Pass. Across on my right, SCMHRD. The Orient Express. Lovely. Put your hands together for them. The Orient Express. It runs on that effort. Final question to our final team. This basic item was patented way back in 1830 by a Frenchman named Barthelmy Thimonaire. Many great men in this world have endorsed it as one of the greatest products created for mankind. Is it the pocket watch? On my right, SCMHRD. The razor? Across on my safety razor answer, SIBM. Matches. Symbiosis law. Is it the concept of... Uh... Correct, that's the answer I'm looking for. <laughs> Is the concept of like uh, uh, equal monthly installment, EMIs, passing you. Marlboro Marlboro. Cigarettes. Endorsed by some of the greatest who walked on earth. No. Passing you. We're gonna go for fountain pens. Mont Blanc. Mahatma Gandhi endorsed it. The sewing machine. At this point in time, very early days of the Pune final of this quiz. But on the other side, after this short break, all the action from this final. Stay with us.